Good morning, everyone. Uh, wait, never mind. Good afternoon. It is actually 1 p.m. right now. I have been trying to get this video up for some reason. Oh my god. This one has been taking so long to export out of like Final Cut Pro to upload onto YouTube, but now I am working on like the description, putting in links, timestamps. I worked on the thumbnail for a couple of hours this morning. Um, now it's uploading it's at 40%, so hopefully I can get it up soon. I I usually like to upload at like around noon but today it just didn't work out and that is something I'm gonna have to be okay with. This bitch on overdrive I feel like you can hear the fan from all the way over there. You know school's coming up in a couple of months so I wanted to kind of get the glow up process uh, started a little bit early. I actually have an appointment in a couple of days to dye my hair so that's going to be like the physical part of this video but I also I think it's so important to like kind of help yourself glow up mentally. I feel like a thing that is often lost in glow up videos it's it's very like superficial and just kind of like let me just spend a thousand dollars to make me feel better about myself and obviously glowing up phys physically definitely helps with like your mental health like you feel sexier you feel more confident but i think trying to improve yourself mentally with productivity and kind of getting things done that you've been trying to avoid or just i don't know things like that uh is equally as important if not more so that's what today's video is going to be about Mmm, that's what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> God. mentioned before that I'm going to be getting my hair dyed in a couple of days and I thought I would include it in now because I feel like a major like selling point of this video uh, was like the hair transformation. Yes, it definitely would have made more sense if I filmed this vlog on the day that I was dyeing my hair but it also is going to be like a seven hour long process and I just don't want to like vlog um, before or after that. I feel like I'd be super tired and I'm moving out like that day and the next day. So I've just got, I have a lot of things going on. I hope it looks okay. <laughs> on the way to the hair appointment, I'm, it's bittersweet. I love my red hair. Uh, I think it really fits me well and it like really helped me dip my toes in. Oh, ew, I hate that. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that Edith and Eve, which is her assistant and also sister, which I think is very wholesome that they do this together, was tackle my very overgrown roots. Um, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They bleached it with the tiniest little sections and I don't think I could ever be a hairstylist because I do not have the patience for this shit. No way. But they did it. They killed it. Also, nothing quite beats your hairstylist gassing you up constantly. Ready? It's not! Oh my god! <laughs> I started to eat lunch because your girl was absolutely starving oh my gosh and i was just like sitting there being a lazy bum getting my hair dyed and i'm like oh, i'm so hungry they brushed my hair super gently because especially wet bleached hair is very prone to breakage and that's not what we want so cute already though mm -hmm. yeah. I 
just for a bit of a trim and some layers because I wanted just a little bit of new hair and just have it be a little bit more healthy than before. Oh, you look so good. It is so fucking pretty. Hey, we did it. Look how cute it looks. I know. Yay. Thank Daddy, you so much. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> this looks like a wig, huh? Yeah, it yeah. does. Bye. Bye. This is what my hair looks like now. It's so beautiful, very orange, exactly what I was going for. Thank you so much, Edith and her sister, for doing my hair. I feel so pretty and it's so fun. It's a nice change, but still like funky and like not so basic. I don't know, but yeah, new hair. Oh hey, hello. It's past me again. Uh, now I'm going to sit down for a bit, read this book. It's called Determining Possession. I know I've already talked about this book. Um, you guys know when I started it. I'm a little bit halfway through it. I'm not like the biggest fan of it yet i've only heard glowing reviews of it and i'm just like so confused why i haven't finished this in like a day which i've done for like my other books um but i'm just gonna try to sit down stop looking at my phone and read something i really hope that um i start to like this book a little bit more i do like it i just think i have such a high standard for books after reading the quiz quotient it was just too good for it was just too good have been here for a month i had just been repainting black over it every like couple of weeks and just hoping that it looked decent definitely did not so i finally repainted my nails today and i really didn't know what i was going to do with it and i thought it would be a little commemorative if i painted them red since my red hair is going to be gone soon so uh, that's my thought process with it i've actually only had like french tip nails a couple of times in my life but i thought i would do it this time since my nails were kind of longer so it was just easy to like trace for the french tip but i thought it was a little bit plain so i added some flowers but it's not very complex at all literally just six dots i've been starting to get into nail art again lately um i used to do nail art a lot when i was a wee child when i was like eight years old i used to do these kind of complex nail arts like i don't know what was up with me i was like okay i just want to paint these little paintings on little canvases that are my fingernails so i would do that all the time and i was really proud of them and i would be so excited to go to school and show it off to my peers my friends but i remember every time people would be like your nails only look good because you're asian and i'm like oh my god like did you really have to say that i was like it, i feel like it really invalidated me and made me like feel bad about myself because i was like damn like can i only do this because i'm asian even though like that makes no sense at all but i was literally eight years old so um then i stopped doing nail art because i just hated that feeling of like I don't know people being kind of mean and like racist and this reminds me of all the times that people they say to me constantly um someone just said this to me like a month ago where they're just like oh i know the ladies at the nail salon are talking shit about me blah 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 and probably the nail salon ladies are vietnamese because that's just that's just a lot of vietnamese women do um but i remember i was like what the fuck like i feel like that's so racist and like weird and very assumption-y and i just i don't know like if they are talking shit about you maybe it's rightfully so if you're talking shit about them right now and being racist you know um so i've actually never been to a nail salon before i've never gotten my nails professionally done i just prefer doing my own nails i do want to go one day i feel like it'd be a fun experience um but here are my nails waiting for them to dry Hi. <laughs> Hey, oh. do you miss me now? 
Now this is a gnarly zit, oh my god. So I was supposed to work out today, but I just got home, it's 11 p.m. I'm too tired, I don't want to force myself to work out if I'm not in the mood. It would just make me feel bad about myself if I actually do work out knowing that like I don't want to and all this stuff. Also, I'm a lazy piece of shit, so that's also true, but I'm just really trying not to force myself to work out. I want to work out because I want to work out, not to, you know. But now, I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing. Uh, I think this will really help my mental health. I haven't played in three to four months and I'm just, I don't know why. I think it's just because I get a little bit overwhelmed from my island. Like I want it to look perfect and like it doesn't look perfect, obviously. So it just makes me stressed out that my island's so ugly. Oh my God, I even forgot what my island looked like. Damn. I fucking forgot how to get around my island. 